Hi, Python strings mutations. We have seen that uh, lists are uh, mutable, uh, they can be changed, and tuples are immutable, they cannot be changed. Let's try to understand this with an example. You are given an immutable string and uh, you want to make changes to it. So, abracadabra string, you can access uh, an index by um, string indexing, uh, string of 5, which will return uh, the a character in that position and if you want to uh, assign uh, a different uh, character to that uh, string of uh, five uh, it will return an error so uh, how would you approach this if you want to assign a value so one approach they have given um, they are converting this uh, string to list and uh, they using the list indexing they are assigning a new character and they are using uh, the join function to convert uh, uh, this list to string and they are printing that string okay so this is one approach the second approach is also given string slicing okay so they are using string slicing and uh, um, they are taking uh, the sliced string till uh, the value that needs to be replaced and uh, they are replacing uh, the appending the uh, value and they are skipping one value and uh, they append the remaining string values okay so that is the second approach so what is the question read the given string change the character at a given index and then print the modified string so the answer is given and uh, they ask the same question anyway so let's uh, start with the code we are uh, getting the string as uh, s and uh, also the position and character um, we are getting it in the list format and uh, uh, they are passing uh, these values as argument to this uh, muted string function and uh, they are printing this uh, uh, variable where the result of the muted string is um, uh, returned okay so let's uh, start with uh, string slicing. So return string, and then we'll start with the first character, and uh, we'll go till position. So whatever number uh, that is uh, stored in this position variable, and then we will concatenate this with character. And we will add the uh, remaining slice so this time we will start with the position so that is the character which uh, we want to replace so we'll skip that position and we'll start with position plus one and we'll go till the end so that's it run the code yeah so let's uh, submit it and it passed all the test cases so that's it that's the solution Thank you everyone for listening.